everyone today I'll be reviewing this kids loft bed here's a closer picture of what it's supposed to look like I purchased this on the Walmart's website and it says it's a twin size it's for kids um, it has really good reviews almost the five stars um, everything I read was that it's a good bed um, I purchased this for my daughter she's seven and we plan to make the bottom area into a little play area for her to keep her toys. They have different colors to choose from. I chose the pink one for her and plus the shipping and taxes, it was around $98 I believe. Uh, so close to 100 bucks in total. We're going to go ahead and open up the package and start building it. We'll see how building it goes. Here is the box. It's way bigger than I expected. It's really, and it's really heavy, super heavy. Okay, so we finally finished building it, and this is how it looks. So I think it was pretty easy to build. We just kind of kept making some mistakes, like this part of the bed is not really secured um, very well. So if you if you try to move the bed holding onto this, it will come off, and then you kind of have to loosen the screws and fit it back in, put it in place. So that part was kind of annoying, um, but other than that, it was pretty easy to build. Put the bottom into a little play area, so she kind of put her stuff in there already. And I think it's, for a seven-year-old, I think it's pretty good. Um, she can't stand up, but it fits a lot of things in there. So this is Annie. So can you go under so you can show how much space you have? So you see, cause she still has plenty of space to play. And stand up. It's not that tall, but it's good for her age group. So it's pretty easy for her to climb up. And do you like it? Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. So overall, I really like the bed. I think it was a good purchase. She seems really happy. And that's it. We hope you like our review.